you've had two weeks off to uh, refresh and recharge the battery somewhat, but uh, you come back into action this weekend against Saris, and what a test that is. Yeah, it is a big test, isn't it? Obviously, um, top top team in the league, and um, it's going to be a massive test for the lads. But obviously, like you said, there's been a few fellows who've had a couple of weeks off, which is great, and especially at this time of the year, it's great to have. And they're in, obviously, the guys have been playing really well in the LV as well, so there's guys pushing. Uh, but it's going to be a big, big challenge this week, and one we're really looking forward to. In terms of it, though, like you say, you've had nine weeks of brutal rugby almost, where you've been right at the top end in the Premiership and in Europe. Uh, it's probably nice as players to have that wee bit of a break. It is. It's just recharge the batteries, maybe take a bit of downtime, a bit of time away from the club, and you know you get you get the excitement now coming back into play. And I think you're going to see that all being well. You know that the guys are going to come out chomping at the bit to get get running around again, and obviously to have the top team coming down, it's a great way to get back into it. As you know from playing Saris in the past, always tight affairs, uh, very tough side to overcome. Yeah, very tough side. Obviously, they're not top of the league for nothing, and uh, they're a physical side. And if you don't bring that, you're you're going to have a long afternoon. And something we we've definitely, I suppose, having a couple of weeks off will be good. But you know, we're got, we're very aware that we have to be straight back on it. Um, if we're not, we're going to, it's gonna, like I said, it's going to be a long afternoon, but something, a physical challenge we're really looking forward to. No doubt you've done your homework. There's threats right across the park, but where in particular do you feel they're dangerous? <laughs> well, like you said, there's threats right across the park, but obviously there have a lot of Eng English internationals in there, obviously other internationals as well. And uh, First and foremost, you know, they have a great discipline in what they do. They're, they like, they've got a good kicking game and stuff. and. Um, their physical side, you know, up front as well, and then they've got some guys in the back who've got some real good footwork, and obviously they've got uh, a lot of creativity in, in their halfbacks as well. So something, we're, you know, it's going to be a big ch test, and but like I said, that's what we want. We want to have these big teams coming down, and we haven't performed um, really well against teams that are in the top four yet. So. It's, uh, it's something the guys are focusing on. Hopefully, we can get it right this week, guys. Already a good crowd uh, signed up, ready to come to the game. But uh, at home, we fancy our chances against anyone. Yeah, absolutely. And it doesn't matter who comes to Sandy Park. Whenever we get the crowd going, and um, it, it's a great uh, experience. Whenever you get to run out there and you hear the tomahawk chop, chop going. So, um, well, we've got to give the crowd something to shout about, and hopefully, you know, we can get create a, a great atmosphere here. And you know, if we've spoke to a few t guys from opposition teams, and they say it is uh, a very daunting place to come so hopefully there'll be plenty of noise here this weekend. I know you've been here a while now but when you look at the fixture list for the next five six weeks do you pinch yourself and think how far the club have come? Yeah it's pretty special when you look at it isn't it you know it's easy to get up for these type of games and something to, you know we've worked hard to get these sort of matches and obviously it's going to be a great run into Christmas and something you guys are really looking forward to and even beyond Christmas as well so um, it's, it's, it's something we've earned the right to be there but now that we're there we want to push on and really challenge ourselves against these top sides you know and treat ourselves as if we're a top side because we're, we're in the top four and we're top for Heineken Cup group you know it, it's not easy to do that so we've, we're obviously doing well at the minute but we're very aware over the next couple of weeks you know with Obviously, Bath and uh, in a couple of weeks' time, and Saracens, these are top sides, and then obviously, you've got Toulon, so it's something we really look forward to. In terms of it, though, when you talked about the last few weeks you've been off, uh, players that have played have put their cases forward and, and put some good performances in. Yeah, absolutely, and there's no surprise there. We were very aware whenever you look at the sides that were put out, you know, very easily could commit. You can put that side out in the Premiership, and um, there's guys who've definitely put their hands up and worked really hard. And but it's great to see that the, the culture of the club's there, and guys are pushing each other. And that's what this is all about. We're about working hard and pushing ourselves and pushing each other through. And um, obviously, those performances have been have set us into the next couple of weeks.